So, just finished watching the Pez Dispenser episode of Seinfeld. The, uh, just right here. The 14th episode. And, uh, um, this was an enjoyable episode. It was, it, um, it, uh, it was an enjoyable episode. It was, I'm trying to kind of think of, how it was, like, compared to the previous episode, the Subway episode. So, again, that was a very different episode. I think... Ah, uh, I don't... It's hard for me to put it, because they're very different. This one feels a bit more high energy compared to the Subway episode. And they're just very different. I, I don't really want to call it, like... I really don't want to, like, say one is better than the other. Because they're just very different episodes. And it feels wrong to compare them. If you know what I mean. Um, the subway is probably more. The subway is definitely more memorable. I mean, a lot happens in it. I think it's a lot of first for the Seinfeld series, really. But that, that by no means that makes the Pet Dispenser episode a bad episode or a poor episode. It's just it just pales in comparison, I guess. It's a I don't want to say passable, but it's not it's not too noticeable, I guess. That's mainly where I'm, that's that's mainly where I'm coming from. This is a very it's not that noticeable of an episode. Nothing truly like spawn I don't know. It's No not not a lot of memorable moments come from this episode, or not really a lot of memorable things. That being said though, I found the humor throughout this very funny. Or, yeah. I think it kept my interest very. It really kept my interest. It didn't feel. It didn't feel like a strain like some episodes were to just kind of just keep on watching. There have been. There have been some episodes that have just. I'm trying to think of one. The last few. <laughs> the last few have been pretty good so far in keeping the attention wise. Ah. Uh, the parking garage. Well, I think that was a very fun episode. That was, that felt a bit more like I had to focus more on that episode. Just it didn't feel like okay, I'm having a fun time. Like it didn't feel as strainful to focus on the episode. But anyway, what happens in this episode is that uh, is um they start off the characters Jerry, George, and Elaine. They start off going to George's girlfriend's piano recital. And so Jerry has this Pez dispenser he got from Kramer. And so he puts it on Elaine's like leg or something. She starts laughing during the piano recital and she leaves. And she meets an acquaintance of hers and Jerry's who tells her that another acquaintance is in need of an intervention. But obviously this affects George's girlfriend because somebody laughs during her performance. And so you know, has to deal with that, and that puts her that puts her in a bad mood. One of my favorite lines during of the episode is kind of during this moment when they're waiting outside the George girlfriend's door, because <laughs> George is very anxious about this. He's very worried um, because you know this is kind of a very bad thing to say about, or this obviously affecting the girlfriend. The camera's kind of tilted. Better. Yeah. And so what happens is like they're talking like so Elaine informs Jerry of of me and the guy and that being part of an intervention. So and like since George is being very anxious, very impatient about this, he kinda's like, cut to the chase. And then Jerry's just like, cut to the chase? What are you, Joe Friday or Joe What are you, Joe Hollywood? It's just I just found that, I don't know, it's just a very, I found that to be a very funny line. Don't, just, I think just the, the, the delivery, I don't know, I just, that was a very funny line to me. But, uh, Kramer's plot in this episode is that he's going, he's joining the polar bear club or something, so they swim when it's like really cold out, and so he wants to make this cologne where it takes the beach, where it smells like the beach, which I actually think is a cool idea. I'm not sure if they've done that in, like, the plus 20 years that this episode aired that they made a cologne that smells like the beach but I'd be interested in that 
Same thing with the pizza place where you make your own pie. <laughs> and actually bake it too. A lot of Kramer's ideas I think actually could be useful or have been used in real life. I have a real life application. Semantics. Uh, then... What else happens? Uh, since uh, George thinks that his girlfriend's gonna break up with her, he does break up with him. He does a preemptive breakup. But at that point, she's like, "Oh, what did I do? What can I do to fix this?" And he's like, "Ha ha!" Which I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where it's 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 funny, yes, but it's uh, when you think about it, it's kind of like it's it's kind of like cruel to be like just use somebody like that to manipulate them because that's basically what he's doing is manipulating them or maybe manip manipulating her and this isn't I mean this goes both ways guy and girl and just it's it can be a relationship thing and it's just I don't know that's never a good sign people if if people want you to change like drastically like that or you should be just be wary. I mean, it's like if some like it's like, a case like that. It's very obvious that somebody's controlling or being manipulative. It's just it's a horrible. It's a it's a dick thing to do. I think you know. I'm like I mean I'm the type of guy where I'm the type of guy where I'm actually like afraid of like like being like controlling or whatever so I'm just like just do your own thing you know like I don't want I don't want it to feel like I'm limiting you or anything or I'm controlling you in any way I want you I want to be able to I want to be sure that the decisions you make are your own decisions and I mean I would like that you'd be considerate of me but I don't know it's relationships are weird and confusing at times but, uh, yeah. So then the intervention, the intervention happens and, uh, like a bunch of people come. <laughs> like more than that needs to be and a lot of them don't actually know the guy or something. Yeah, another funny line is like, because one of Kramer's like polar bear buddies is, uh, talking to Elaine. He's, uh, he's talking about kangaroos for some odd reason. I don't know why. But he's just like, he, he goes totally Freudian about kangaroos. He's like, the females, they have these pouches, but the male kangaroos don't have pouches. So they have pouch envy. <laughs> like, it's, it's just, it's like, what? It's just a very, like, huh moment. I wonder if Freudian, if Freudian psychology applies to animals. No, what? No, I wouldn't. Th I mean, I would Google that up actually, because wouldn't animals just be the id? They wouldn't have an ego, or super ego, I would think. Maybe an ego. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's really, that's really all I can. It was a fun. It's a fun episode. It's an enjoyable episode, but it's like I said, nothing really like. It's nothing special. And I hate to say that, it's nothing special. It was, a, it was a fun episode to watch. But it was like, it's a bit, it's kind of, it's if it was on the TV, it's it was a rerun on TV. You pass it up. You, know, you wouldn't stop and be like, oh shit, this episode's on. Let's watch this. It's just yeah. <laughs> nothing else to really say about that. Meh. <laughs>